Good morning, everyone. My name is Rabbi Uri Lesser, Director of Pastoral Care here at Grove and Jewish. Hope everyone is having a wonderful week. And we will continue our Onik Shabbat virtual series, 10.30 every Friday morning. Hope everyone is doing great. Shalom Aleichem, Malachay Ashar Yez, Malachay Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachay Amlochim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom Aleichem, Malachay Ashar story about the spies, known as the sin of the spies. The Jewish people were en route on the way to the land of Israel after the many years of slavery in Egypt. 
And on the way down, some of them, the leaders in fact, started to get a little nervous. What is it going to be like in this new land? Are we ever going to be able to survive? Because as of now, the Jews are traveling in the desert with the miracles of God along them, getting the manna, the food from the heavens, being protected by the clouds of glory, and they were afraid to be, go into the new world. And although God promised them, don't worry, you're gonna go into the new land of Israel, there might be a war, you'll win the war, you'll take over the land, and things will be wonderful, people got nervous. So they had an idea, they said, Moshe, Moses, let's just go down to the land of Israel, 12 of us, to spy out the land. Check out the land beforehand, see what's going on, see certain strategies that may be needed, and we'll come back and report that it's a wonderful, beautiful land, and we'll go in there and we'll all be happy. And Moshe, Moses was a little bit concerned about this because after all, God said it will be good. There's no reason for us to doubt it. However, if we don't allow them to go in, maybe there'll be a mutiny. Maybe people will not want to go follow his lead into the land. So reluctantly, he said, okay, 12 leaders of the, of the tribes can go in and check out the land. And as the story unfolds, the 12 spies went to the land and there was a lot of good things that they saw. They saw giant fruit, tremendous amount of produce and wealth, but they also saw many people who looked strong and mighty and they got afraid of a upcoming war with them. And they came back and instead of coming back saying well, the positive things that are there and saying we have some slight concerns, they exaggerated the story saying we can't go into this land it's a place of giants, of very strong men. There's no way we'll be able to defeat them in war. It's a bad idea. And they riled up the entire Jewish community, crying to Moshe, saying, we don't want to go into the land of Israel. And this was seen by God as a terrible, terrible sin. Only two spies out of the ten said it's not true. Joshua and Caleb, Caleb. But the other ten spies were able to convince everyone that we should not go to the land of Israel. And God took this personally. He said, you're not going to believe me. After all I've done for you, you don't trust me. There's a lack of trust in God. And Moshe said also, if you can't trust that God will help us win the war, then you don't deserve to go into the land of Israel. And they were punished severely for 40 years they had to wander into the desert until the next generation was allowed to go into the land of Israel. This is a terrible and a sad story, which really comes down to one thing in life. Of course we have concerns. Of course, there are things which we don't understand, which make us worry. We're normal, it's normal human behavior. But the ultimate factor has to be, we have to truly believe in God, because God takes care of us every single day. And if he took care of us up until now, and we're here, we have to trust that he will continue to, to take care of us. And that's the lesson we learn from the story. Any fear that we may have, it's validated, it's true. It's okay to be afraid, but it's also more important to understand that God is in control of everything at all the time. Oh, 
Cross Kalob Neja Bos Neka Bela His Nari Maya Farkume Live she big days if I take a me out yard Benny Shy Base of Love Me Corvo El Nab Shigi Yahala Lecha Dodi Licras Kala Nesha Bos Nika Bela His Oreri His Oreri Kiva Rekumi Ori 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 Shir Dabering of Old Hashem Layeth Nigla Lechad Odi Lekras Kalab Nesha Bos Nika Bela Lo se vo shi vo si kami ma de jo kahi u ma de mi vo yatsu ani ye ya mi ve nevne so irati la le khado di kras kala pne ja vos ne ka bela ya mi nu sma Be <laughs> Verochaku come vahala ye, Yosi, Zola ye, hello, Kaye, Kem Sajga, Sana, Kala, Lecha, Dodi, Lekras, Kala, Nesha, Bos, Neka, Bila, Bowi, Bishalom, Ateres, Bala, Gambiri, Nau, Vizahala, Tochem une am segula bowi kala bowi kala le khado di le kras kala ne shabos ne kabela. At the end of this week's parsha, we learn about, we study about the commandment of wearing tzitzit, a talit, a prayer shawl with the strings attached. And the strings have a lot of meaning, as there are eight strings on each of the garments, each of the corners, and there's five knots on each of the corners of a talit, a prayer shawl. And the numerical value of a tzitzit is 600, putting everything together to be 613, the numerical value of the prayer shawl, along with the strings and the knots. And we know there's 613 commandments in the Torah. So what's the significance of this, of this commandment that we have to wear a prayer shawl, to wear a talit, to wear tzitzis, to represent all the mitzvot? So the beautiful answer which is given is that the tzitzis, the talis, enwraps us, envelops us. And we're supposed to remind ourselves that in every situation that we have, one of the 613 commandments can apply. It doesn't matter where we are, it doesn't matter what time of day it is, we're completely enwrapped in the commandments. And why is it important to be completely enwrapped? Because the more we're enwrapped and enveloped in the mitzvot, the more connected we are to God. And the lesson is, everywhere we look in life, in every situation, there's always an opportunity to connect to God. And the more we look for these situations, these opportunities, the closer we'll become and the better people we will be. Azai mehalach shemone kravi achare kechlos hakol levahado yemlof nora vehu haya vehu hove vehu yihye besifara vehu echor liyen sheni v'am shila lehachvira vili reishen Ve 
Happy and healthy Shabbat. A great weekend. We'll see everybody next week.